Hi guys, welcome to Unicorn's World. Today we're going to be making a nice Lego room. So, I'm going to quickly get it, one of, like a product, um, to show you what it will turn out like later on in the end. One second. Um, so, you're going to need a lot of Legos for this. Um, I'm not going to be making the whole room today, um, but you can find the rest in my other part videos um so yeah um it's also not that stable so don't move it around often and you if you do um try to make it a little more stable or if you don't want to just um make, keep in mind that it's not too stable so don't bring it like somewhere where it's gonna probably break like a lot, like on a, on a, like something like comfy and like where, where some it keeps on moving, like maybe a sofa with your parents sitting on it. Sometimes it happens like on a sofa because it's not hard. Okay, so I'm gonna show you um, a copy right now. So this is a copy of it. Um, so it's pretty detailed. Some of these things aren't Legos, but most of them are. So let's get started. Oh, and before that, I just want to tell you something. We're going to need also a lot of bases and pieces. So yeah. And um, let me see if I want to tell you guys anything else. Um, yeah, you can, you don't need to do exactly what I'm doing. I'm also just using random pieces that I find. Um, and yeah, it's going to be really, really fun. Um, so let's get started. So we're going to work with our very first base today. Um, so to do that, I have this purple base. You don't need it to be purple. Um, it's eight circles in this length. I'm not going to count all these right now, but it's pretty wide. Um, next, you're going to need something, that, some more layers. So I'm going to just do this with that. And I'm going to add this right there. And add this. And... Is that it? Um, let me check. I'm going to leave it like this for now. Yeah, that's going to be it. So this is, now we're going to start with our next part. So we're just going to add this little, I found this really long brown brick, oh, Lego brick. And I think that I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically just um, take it and just fill up one of the sides. Some of the pieces have been decorated for some time, so that I'm gonna use later on in the video. Um, so, but you don't need to have them decorated. Mine are already just decorated, so yeah. So there, we've gotten this long brown brick. You don't need it to be long and brown. Well, you can have several pieces like it, but we just want it to be cover up, covering up one side of it. Now we're gonna make it again. Um, I don't have that exact same piece, so I'm gonna be using other bricks. So this would be an example of when you need more bricks. Like, I think I'm just going to go one, two, and I'm going to do three and four. Perfect. So I finished that. So I'm going to move my purple base for now because we're not going to be using that right now. Now I'm going to add a little window um, so she can get some fresh air. Um, I like Lego windows a lot because they open and close. So yeah, I'm using this blue one. And I'm going to put it in the center. So let's see, I have six on this side and six on that side. Perfect. 
So, you know what? Now I can do the math. This is 18 wide. No. Yeah, 18 wide. So, if you counted all of this, that would be 18. 12 plus 4, 18. I meant 16. I'm so sorry. I meant 16. 12 plus 4 is 16. I was thinking 14 plus 4. And I kept on saying 12 for some reason. In my head I was thinking 14. And yeah. So... Yeah. And with the next ones, I think that what I'm going to do is I'm going to just keep two um, little windows. Well, not literally windows. Two things right here. I'm keeping this one clear and one with, like, some beach stuff on it. I think that if you watch my Lego Beach Tour video, you would have seen this. That piece. Um, so, yeah. Now, it looks like it's open, empty there, but it's actually this clear Lego window. And then it went a little sideways, but yeah. Um, and on top of that, so it'll be a little bit more visible, I'm thinking that I'm going to add a little picture on top so that it'll look a little bit more visible. Let me find a nice thing to hold it up. Oh, okay, found this. So it's like where you could stick it on the side and you can stick something on it. So I'm going to put this little picture of a horse. There we go. I stuck it on. Let's see if I can get a little lower of this. No. Okay, not in the center. I can't get it. Okay, so I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to keep it on that clear window so I can make it a little bit more visible. Now I'm going to take some other pieces like this. And I took two two pieces and added um, another one of those like flat pieces. So I'm gonna add them up, put them together. And I'm going to attach these two right there, perfect. Now I'm going to add another little desk well, not a desk, but I just took, like, those little pieces, like, that look like this. And added another piece on top. Oh, let me add a piece. Come on, piece. Come on. I'm going to add this piece on top. And I'm just going to stick it in front of the one with the beach supplies. Now, I got... I found this really, really cute carpet, um... With a Lego set, it's an American Girl doll one, Sage Art Studio, Sage's Art Studio. So I'm going to use a, that rug from there. It might be a painting, but it looks like a rug to me. Um, so this is the rug. Um, plus painting or whatever. Um, I'm going to just keep the this. I'm going to keep two pieces and make one of them sticking out, like two four pieces that are flat and keep the rug right next to the window like right in front of it and you'll see what this other piece is for later on okay so now what we're going to do is I think that we pretty much finished this area so let's move on to the other part so we're going to take our purple base that we haven't used yet and this piece is what we're going to use to attach it. So we're just put our purple, putting our purple base, un, bur, purple base underneath it and, and sticking it on and it'll stick together. going to work on the rest of the room so I found the little drawer from this Lego set um, it was like a store um, so I, the drawers actually come out this one also is supposed to have this one but 
I kept it in here like this is going to be a little shelf. And in here, I filled a pair of goggles and a bow. Um, these are from Mia's Beach Shop. Um, I didn't unbox that with you um, or do anything with that. I didn't do that with you. I did a different one. like So it came with Mia, a couple surfboards, and it was a whole different beach set. Um, I didn't do that with you because I didn't have my YouTube channel back then. Um, so this is the drawer. You know what? Actually, I put it in the wrong area. I also had decorated with it with some stickers one time ago. So yeah, I'm gonna keep it maybe here. And you know what? I think that I'm gonna make a staircase, which will lead up to our next base. So I'm gonna remove it from my old copy. We're gonna work on it next time we consider it um this to next time um but it's gonna we're gonna do more so i took this off from the copy um it has this other little white piece underneath for the support and i'm just gonna make one right there i took an orange piece and two other pieces to make one other step um and it doesn't look really much like a step but you're just gonna stick your other some other plat you don't need to do this i'm just doing it for show um there we go i'm gonna con do some, some more but um we're almost done with this video i'm gonna do some more later on so i'm gonna quickly go get some foil and and rip it up and turn it into some balls so yeah okay i'm back i took some foil crumbled it up and put them into balls um, so yeah, and I found this little bucket from the store, not Mia's store, uh, another store, and I'm just going to put them in it, the foil in it, and I also found this little piece of circle foam, um, so I'm going to put that in it too. Um, now I'm just going to finish off some more with a, um, let's see, what can I put? Hmm. I don't have my other coffee. I'm going to put this little closet right here, so it'll be next to her, like, accessories, her bow and glasses. Um, well, what else? I guess. Um, I think that I'm going to put these two pieces, like these two one pieces, up. I'm going to stack them up. Um, I don't make a full wall in mine, um, because I don't have enough Lego pieces for that. I mean, I did make one singing studio, which I'll show you at the end of this video. Um, and yeah, so I'm just going to add that little piece right there, which my friend turned into the point of a heart in one of her creations. Now if I'm, I'm taking a door and I'm just gonna stick it in right there. You know what, I think we could finish this floor. And if not, I'll do the rest in my other video. I found this little, so I got a kit for one of my, at my birthday. I got a little, um, another American Girl doll set. It's Kit's set, um, one of her sets with her puppy. It says California oranges on this right here. But it's the box, and I use it as a shelf. And you can use, like, any... And I'm going to make some paints. So I just took, like, these random tubes and put some random lids on them, like those, like, these pieces. And this one, this pink one has a blue cap. So I'm going to add that and add this cap. Okay, I'm going to remove this base because it's... Gonna work. So let's add that cap. I want the cap these paints. Um. Now what we're going to do is I'm gonna add this bookshelf that I got from Beauty and the Beast. I got a Beauty and the Beast set when I was younger, so I'm gonna add this bookshelf from it right next to that paint. Perfect. So this is what it looks like so far. 
our rug and there. Now we're gonna work on this side. So I f I'm gonna take another window and I'm gonna add two four pieces in there, like this type of four pieces, like on top, underneath, not on top. And hello. Um, but yeah, and I'm gonna just keep it right here. Like I wanna keep two squares left right there. Now, hmm. Hmm. I also have this really pretty fancy brick that's clear pink. And I'm gonna keep it right there. Um and I did take um a four piecer, like this type of four piecer, and added two other square four pieces. So I added that on top. And stuck it right here. And I added a blue piece to the side. I added a pink cupcake from the this Bali Wisher set I got for Christmas. No, um, for the Bali in Indian holiday. Um, I got it for the Bali. Um, so it's a cupcake from this Bali Wisher set. It's their playhouse. And I found this little piece. I don't exactly remember where I got it from because I probably shouldn't remember where I got every single piece from. I mean, it would be good, but yeah, I don't. Um, I'm just going to stick it on and leave it anywhere I want. So I'm just going to keep it here. Keep that area part sticking out. So we've pretty much finished the whole structure. Now we're just going to add some accessories. So on top of the clock, I'm going to add a... I mean, on top of the window, I'm going to add a clock with the same thing that I used to hold this up. So I'm going to add that. Then I'm going to add this little gem onto this little holder. And I think that you can choose where you want to hand put these. I'm just showing you what I'm putting. And I'm putting that on top, on top of the bookshelf and the clock right on top of that window. Now I'm going to add, because of COVID, I think we need some hand sanitizer. But you can also use a soap or anything you want, basically. I'm just using it as hand sanitizer. Um, I'm gonna, I, I took another one of the things that I used to hold my pink gem and this little clear yellow thing and I just put it on top to make a little light. Um, and I also added another clear yellow tube a little different and some pink ones to make another lamp. I'm gonna, I use this one as a lava lamp. And this one as a torch. And I took this. I, I found a broken. I have a broken headband. I kind of broke off some flowers. That can easily pop back on. And I think that this is a beautiful chair for Lego people. So I'm just going to keep it there. And a little school bag. It's like an acorn that I also got from the Welly Wishers kit. I'm going to keep that right on, maybe in her sanitizer. Yeah, right there. So she can sanitize before school. Now, from the Sage kit, I also got this really cute little dangling thing. I have a white version of it, but I like the gold better. I don't know where I got the white one from. Maybe the same kit. Um, But, yeah. I'm going to keep it onto this one piece here that has... A hole on top and a hole in there. So I'm just going to do that. And I can just stick it out behind her room. So it's like a little fancy thing behind her room. Um, so I'm going to also add this little one tile. That you can use as anything you want. I'm going to use it as a watch. And, and I'm going to keep that in her school bag. You know, small pom pom. So I'll just. This is a ball, so I'm just gonna keep it in the yellow shelf. I'm going to keep it in that, and I'm just gonna keep it in there. And this cube that I found, I'm gonna keep it in there in the same yellow shelf. I have an art palette which I'm gonna keep in the shelf with the art stuff on. 
And I also have this little two gems that I think I'm going to use. Mm, I'm also going to just keep that right in. Maybe I'll keep it in this drawer and see if it fits first. It fits! Woohoo! Um, and that's it. You know what? I did find this other piece that I think would make a little layer over there. So you, she can also keep some stuff there on top. Um, or he or whoever's getting this room in your place. And my stuff fell out. So this is the whole first floor. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a like and comment and share and subscribe. Bye. Thanks for watching.